name is Nigel Rivers, and I love J. Ross TV. What's up, y'all? This your boy J. Ross in St. Louis. Ten million strong, hanging out the Chaffer's Arena. Y'all getting ready for the big throwdown tonight with one of the young lions in music, Mr. Nigel Rivers, bass phenom, y'all. Uh, showing J. Ross TV a little love, man, so we're going to talk to him about his bass, man, because, whoo, that's a nice sucker there, man, an F bass. Uh, right, right, right. It is my baby. This is my F clef bass. I've yeah. been playing it for about about three years. Yeah. Um, I guess you see one of the, <laughs> I play it so much. One of the knives is broken. Man, that's you know, where that's how you roll. That's how it's got to be. You know, um, I don't let it get in the way too much. Uh, the best thing about this bass that I love is the growl. You don't really find this depth of growl in most basses. Uh, and it, it's probably because it, it uses uh, two no, two nine volt batteries as oh, yeah. to one. So when you switch from passive to active, you're getting like twice as much power. Oh yeah, which is like a problem a lot of the time for uh, <laughs> some systems because they can't handle all that. <laughs> I gotta tell them to either pad the box or you know whatever. Well, uh, well, let me ask you this then. Now, like a lot of y'all young cats, y'all like these boutique bases, you know. So what made you uh, choose F F uh, Clef? Honestly, uh, you know, at the time that I chose the bass, um, I didn't know too much of the difference. I was, I was playing a, a Schecter before, and it, it was cool, um, but I always felt like something was missing. So, you know, I just walked into a store one day, and uh, you know, I was in the market for a new one, so I picked this up. And I was, I was big into Fender Jazzes at the time, so this kind of resembles right. Fender Jazz. And then uh, it, it kind of feels like a Fender Jazz, although I think the neck might be a little wider. Um, and the action was actually easier to deal with than the Fender Jazz. So I picked it up, and the tone I got out of it, I call, I always tell people it's like a Fender Jazz on crack. Right. Because like, it is, like, the power, and then it's still smooth, and the highs are high, the lows are low. Yeah. Uh, what else could you want? So, like, now what strings do you use? Um, I'm using Ernie Ball strings right now. now why, why Ernie? Ernie Balls because... Uh, they're in my price range. <laughs> They're in my price range, but like as for uh, for how much I pay, it's really like a great deal. Like they and then they last long. They're bright. They retain their brightness for a long time. Um, yeah, man. Well, you don't you don't go old school and boil your strings after after. <laughs> no, no, I, I tried that once, but it, it wasn't it wasn't great. Yeah, great idea. So uh, I mean, I guess I could. <laughs> Hey now, how about the fretboard? How do, like when you uh when you running the board, manipulating the fretboard, what's the feeling like to you? It feels like butter, like glass, hot pan. It's great. Like when I'm running, it's just I can go all the way up and down, and the action is is even all the way up and down the neck. So even up here, it's not like we're really high off the fretboard. Uh -huh. The higher I get, and then down here, there's no buzz, even though the string, the string is like pretty close to the fret but it doesn't buzz like i got it set up just like i like it so and i, I run all over the neck I, I try to use the whole neck on every song that's pretty much my goal <laughs> oh yeah so yeah hey, we're gonna give a shout out to f clef basis y'all j ross tv 10 million strong we gone peace